El Nino has been getting a lot of attention in Article, but for the people of the Southern High Plains, it's hitting them hard. Everything you see in this video covers just 10 days out here with Reed. Insane supercells, multiple tornadoes, epic hail, far-reaching flooding, and even Mother Nature striking back at the storm chaser. Bleeding now, damn it! I'm here in the beautiful Southern High Plains, just as El Nino is starting to crank. And even though the weather service is not officially calling it that, we're already starting to see some major impact. El Nino is when warmer waters gather south of the U.S. at the equator. It happens somewhat sporadically every few years, and when it does, it has a huge impact on the U.S.'s weather. Watch here. This is a time lapse of sea surface temperatures of March through May 2023. This in turn feeds something called the subtropical jet, which then acts like a fire hose on the southern high plains and leads to Reed's prediction. I'm expecting round after round of insane mothership supercells. Supercells happen all over, but here in the southern high plains, they do tend to take on very dramatic appearances. And with so much moisture in the atmosphere, they often gain a smooth appearance near sunset as the surface temperature cools, but the storms are able to maintain the intensity of rotation. After sunset, stunning lightning displays show off insane structure. Man, that ring. But of course, one of the main threats is tornadoes. And all the extra moisture from El Nino can make their development easier to track. Definitely see some spin right here starting to form as the new circulation, new wall cloud is starting to wrap. There's the nub. Probably already on the ground. Getting lower. It's going to be a nice one. one. Look at that push. Debris cloud on it. High plains insanity. Long tube. Look at that thing. The tornadoes during this stretch on the high plains were few and short-lived, but the hail was absolutely epic. Residents of the area sheltered under overpasses and wherever else they could. But Reed drives headlong into hail cores. Yeah, keep an eye out for that dirt. Watch out, too. As it's necessary if you want to get close to a tornado. But these El Nino hail cores seem a little bit different. They get thicker. thicker and thicker and go right into night which is when we find Reed after a long chase day looking for a meal Blake's burger sure does look good in there. but the hail isn't quite done with it and quickly intensifies. To save his windshield, he angles it away from the direction the hail is falling. But of course he knows that means... Just broke my window out! Damn it! Damn it! His back window took the brunt of it. And as he's assessing the damage, What the hell was that? What in the hell was that? The angle that this hailstone took must have been an almost impossible ricochet Damn. shot. And worst of all, the window incidents ate up valuable time and... Are you guys still open? Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Oh, no worries. El Nino is almost officially here, but again, its effects can already be felt. 
the warming waters are partially responsible for the most devastating part of the recent severe weather, flash flooding. The nature of these individual daytime storms has been to morph into huge rain dumping systems during the night. Partially due to this, flash flooding has been rampant in the southern high plains. Palo Duro Canyon campground was evacuated in the middle of the night. Lake Tanglewood has filled up for the first time ever. And the Canadian River north of Amarillo peaked above 10 feet, the highest ever since the 1970s. The drought monitor has flipped from drought to moisture surplus. And while some of this can generally sound good, it can have a devastating impact on the people of a town. The town of Hereford, Texas is an encapsulating example. One of these slow moving storms seemed to park over Hereford. And so the town received from eight to 10 inches of rain in a very short period of time. It was evacuated with families being rescued by boat. But the total loss of cattle for the event remains uncertain. It's been estimated anywhere from three to 10,000 head have been lost. And it's been called a one in 100 year event. There's such a fast, almost freak-like rainfall event. Residents weren't able to prepare for it. The last record warm year was in 2016, which also had a strong El Nino. And with the larger warming trend continuing, 2023 and 2024 should come close or even break through to new records.